when I was an assistant, this is, you know, back when I first started in casting, um, I was not in the audition room. I was out in the lobby with the actors, you know, continuing to, to work and do my things and then, you know, making sure everybody in the lobby was okay. And a couple of times we would get way behind and, and very painfully behind, like an hour, hour and a half behind in our schedule. And so obviously everybody's getting a little agitated. There's a lot of people there and people have to get to their next audition, their day job. They have to go pick up their kids. There's a lot of things going on. And what would happen is sometimes actors would come up to me and and be very upset with me for how slow we were going. And And like I said, I'm not in the room, so I didn't even know what was going on in the room. I was only out in the lobby. And what they would do is they would take their frustration out on me and then the casting director would come out and get them to go in for their turn and they would be all smiles and sunshine and butterflies. And it's, it you know, seeing those two sides and then, you know, occasionally I would actually tell the casting director about their behavior and they were like, oh gosh, you know. So you have to just be really aware of that, that there's always somebody who, who can see how you're behaving. Um, it's, we want people on set who are going to get there and be fun and do a great job. We're not going to complain if we're running behind that day during shooting, who um, can find a way to sort of troubleshoot when things like that are happening. Any actor who was sitting there during the two hours that we were behind who came up to me and said, I'm so sorry, I'm going to be late for my next thing. Do you know how long it's going to be? Just ask the question. You know, just remember that there's always somebody who's watching and paying attention. And we don't necessarily remember the people who are really well behaved, but we always remember the people who are not well behaved. <laughs> and it does stand out. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Okay, so this is this is simply my opinion. This is this is how to sort of do this with me, not with all casting directors in town. So just keep that in mind, first of all. In terms of being in contact with me and getting my attention and things like that, coming in the room and doing great work is the best way to get my attention. That's the best way. Do it, going and doing theater and doing amazing, being in a showcase and doing some really great scene, whatever. Doing good work is the best way to get my attention. You could send stuff on Facebook. You can send stuff through the mail with postcards. And I'll look at it. But the best way for me to remember and to actually kind of want to know more of you and want to see more of you is by doing great work both for me in my room but also you know if I see you on a TV show doing something great or on stage doing something great that's the best way for me to remember you and want to see more of you. I feel a certain way about Facebook, but I know others feel very differently. So again, this is this is solely my opinion of it. I'm not crazy about getting messages or um, any sort of contact. What what has happened a lot is that people will use our Facebook friendship to ask me for um, advice or for help with agents and managers, or they'll pitch themselves to come in for a role through Facebook. I'm not crazy about that. My The thing I like about Facebook is that it is a networking site. So when you post um, an event saying that you're on a show or you're doing theater or something like that and you make it an event and you invite me, I like that kind of stuff. Um, it's when it becomes, you know, they take it from the, the networking of it all and make it very personal and then they, you know, if, if I don't like not responding to people but it gets to be so much that I just can't respond to everybody. Yeah, definitely. Everybody's a little bit different. And if I'm working with somebody um, who is physically in a different office than myself, then you have to sort of find a good balance of communicating on the phone, via IM, via email, who's doing what. It's, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to coordinate that kind of stuff when you're not physically together. So you, that's one thing to keep in mind. The other thing is that everybody has a very different style. Some people are very quick. Some people like to take their time a little bit more. Some people really push for making offers and others really like to to do more auditions. Um, some people like to audition a ton of people and some people like to audition just a few select people. 
So everybody's a little bit different, but as long as the lines of communication are, are open, that's, that's really all you need to sort of figure out how to work with somebody else. You have to just figure out how it's best to communicate with them.